We start off today's episode with a little popcorn ASMR. Oh. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, she's in popcorn, and I'm cool with it. You know, it adds a little. This is the, this is the Crunch? comic relief of this whole content right here. This person right here. Uh, <laughs> but welcome back to another escape. The comic book podcast. Where we talk about everything underrated and overlooked. I'm your host, Jablar. And I'm your host, Cammy. And we are here for another... Mini! Mini manga, mini money. Mini manga, mini money. Mini manga, mini money. Mini manga, mini money. Those intros are getting better and better. Slowly but surely, y'all. Mini manga, mania Mondays. Mini manga, mania Mondays. If you don't know, started this you know, last year or so, but this is a little mini episode where... I feature a manga that I've been reading. We feature a manga that Cammy is reading. If this one your first time watching or listening, please on Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that. Leave us a review. Give us some stars. Leave us a comment if you can. We're also available on YouTube where you can see our lovely devolved faces. or And you can also see the content that we're showing. We like to roll some pictures for you of the manga we're, we're featuring or the comic we're featuring. So YouTube, like and subscribe. I point everywhere, Please. but I don't put the little buttons anywhere. He doesn't know where they are. They're in your soul. Uh, <laughs> don't push my buttons. But Cammy just finished her popcorn, so we're good to go. Are we? I'm still hungry. But featured on this Mini Manga Mini Monday, I think I usually always take the start, so I think I'm going to let you start it off with your manga you were featuring. Are we going to crack beers? Oh, yes. We're going to crack a beer. It's usually a tradition on Cammy's... Um, booktube channel booktube channel yeah. book, book and beer tube but you know what we we couldn't cut back our drinking we've been you know now it's special times and it's like crack one for the pod you know the so pod. tell us what we're drinking this today on another Mini Manga, Mini earth Monday. eagle brewing it's american lager it's the honeymoon beer it is mm-hmm. 4.2 percent alcohol okay. per volume it's a 16 ounce we're, we're just casually it's a light enjoying the flavor of beer this might as well be a non-alcoholic beer for us. <laughs> Excuse me? So the Cammy goes places and she's like, barley wine, please. Well, Wait, barley wines are good. 13%? Give me that. <laughs> oh. Well, these beers are really good. We got these when we went to Maine for our honeymoon. And the brewery was like in a little nook in this little harbor street. And it was very, very good. And we enjoyed ourselves. I probably poured too much. You poured it too hard. Usually she's an expert at pouring. Well, you're supposed to have a lot of foam. Look at that clearness. That's uh, surprisingly clear for American Lager. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> this Clad- is why I pour. Collateral damage is spilling beer. Here's that can so you can see what it is. It's called, you know, they told us how to pronounce it and then I forgot. Right. Pisquatico. 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 P-I-S-C-A-T-A-Q-U-A. Please insult us in the comments on how to pronounce that. American Lager, drink the bird, love the bird, give the bird, be the bird. That's their phrase on the side of it. I am bird. I am bird. Cheers. This is pretty solid. It's smooth. We're still holding the uh, plum gose that we have in the fridge. It's a goza. Go say. It's not go say. Well, you know, tomato, tomato, tornado, tornado. No, sir. <laughs> Carry on. Did you just say tornado? Carry on. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, is, this is a free country. But anyways, we're here for Mini Manga Mini Monday. Mm-hmm. Nerds like to drink too. So here we are enjoying ourselves. So Cammy, tell the people what manga you're featuring for us. Well, <clears throat> it was an new release this year and as soon as i saw it i had to get it because the synopsis wonderful i loved it i was like oh this is gonna be good it's right up your this alley. is gonna be different and it is it's so good so it's called sakamoto days by yuto suzuki uh-huh uh-huh nice nice so taro sakamoto was once a legendary hitman considered the greatest of all time Bad guys feared him. Assassins revered him. But then one day he quit, got married, and had a baby. 
He's now living the quiet life as an owner of a neighborhood store, but how long can Sakamoto enjoy his days of retirement before his past catches up to him? Okay. It's great. Honestly, so good. I read it. I loved it. I have been scouring the bookstores for volume number two. It might be a situation where I just go and use my brother's um, shonen, um, my brother's shonen, okay. what's it called? What, like account? Online Subscription, account? Yeah, his account, because he's like subscribed, it's so like, I can Why aren't we it. using that more often? <laughs> I don't know. I like having the physical copy. Yeah, same here. But it's really good. I have heard it described as it's as if, and I would describe it the same way as well. It's John Wick meets The Way of the House Husband. And if you haven't read The Way of the House Husband, you should do so because that's also really good. And that one is also about an assassin that yes. is turned into a house husband. And it's great. So this one's really, really fun. The characters are really great and introduced really well. I like the dynamic that all the characters kind of play on with each other. And I'm really, really looking forward to continuing the series because it's so good. And I would love to have an actual anime of this one because it would just be so fun and so different. And I think Jabbar and I were talking earlier this week because we I've just been plowing, like both of us have really just been plowing through mangas. <laughs> you don't <laughs> have to do that. And so They're he... spicy mangas, don't forget about those. <laughs> please don't bring that up again. I was supposed My to be kept... Book. Here's the thing. You'll never live that down. Sorry, continue. <laughs> I kept that very quiet. I whispered it. And now you're making it loud for everyone in the back. Continue with the synopsis. <laughs> I can't even tell the people about. We were book. plowing through mangas, is what you were saying. Just <sighs> making love to mangas. Like I wasn't this, doing that. We have just mysteries. We've been reading and... a lot of mangas, <laughs> and so he made the comment that. He's really glad that the, he's been reading and watching animes that don't have a school setting mm -hmm. because I think the last year or so, that's all it's been. Yeah. It's been like animes and mangas where it's set in a school setting. You know, the kids are trying to fight evil. They're heroes. They're trying, you know, which, yeah, it's cool, but it's overdone in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the way their life, though. They're like. Right. Like from birth, they're just competing with their, you know, their counterparts and their whole like, you're in class A and you're in class M, you know? Right. So, but this is refreshing. So this that. is really, really refreshing. I have fully enjoyed it. I think I wrote notes how on many, something about it. How many volumes it. are there? I, I want to say there's like Maybe two. four or five. Okay. I think there's so. like four or five of them out. Has, has a little way to go. To, I think they usually get like 10 or so before they get an anime, but hopefully it's successful to keep going. Yeah, I didn't have, I, I said all my notes. I'm very good at remembering my notes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Sakamoto Days, definitely go pick it up. It's really, really good. Um, and if you know where I can get volume two, please let me know because I cannot find it anywhere. I yeah, it's and I've, it. I've read it too, and um, it's just hilarious. It is it is House Husband, the way the House Husband, I read that. It's a retired Yakuza who has just become a House Husband, and he's just trying to lay low, and of course he keeps running into people. Same thing with this, but... This one does have the John Wick thing where he's just like, someone has a gun pointed at him. He's like, in a real quick motion of like two panels or three, just like disassembles the whole gun and just like punches the guy. So it's done very well. It's done really well. Yeah. And I or like some that, to show you all that Sakamoto is, he likes food. So he's just constantly oh. eating food. Um, and like, there's a scene where he starts fighting bad guys again and he loses all the weight mm -hmm. like within like, like 30 cool. seconds so he like <laughs> he's back to looking like his normal self and like one of his characters is just like how the hell did you do that <laughs> <laughs> and then like the next day he's like packed on all the pounds because he's eaten so much yeah. again so he just wants to get fat be married to his lovely wife and raise his kid yeah it's a all super super dynamic read i really enjoyed it the characters are great so please pick it up so talk we can talk about it yes yeah, so we'll get more of these volumes uh what was your favorite thing i just have to ask that uh favorite thing probably sakamoto 
Yeah, yeah he's a good character. He's just a really good character. Because, again, like, he's a character you don't see very often, um, unless, like, my scope of reading manga is very slim. But I think from what I have read so far, having an assassin who likes to eat and is a family man and is trying to avoid fighting and getting back into the lifestyle... It's something that hasn't been done, and I really, really like it. So that was my favorite thing. Okay. All right. So my feature. What's your feature? This is a very popular one among the manga community. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you don't know, which which is a lot of our demographic, hopefully people who are new to comic books, you need to get on this because it's so good, and the anime is coming out soon. I'm talking about Tasuki's Fujimoto's Chainsaw Man, yeah. y'all. Did it? If you see in the back, got one, two, three, four. I think it's actually at ten or eleven volumes right now. I'm sure it's past so that. We, no, I've seen the books. It's so popular that they have so many copies at the the Japanese local bookstore. Japanese bookstore, and it's like a whole bookshelf tray, and it's just like like row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and it goes like to ten. So it's very popular. They're making a lot of prints. Mm-hmm. We have the story art, Tasuki Fujimoto. It was serialized in the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine from 2018 to 2020. Um, so far, there are 11 volumes. And the genre is action, uh, comedy, horror, and like dark comedy. Yeah, like dark horror. Right. Yeah. Um, the anime will debut on Crunchyroll sometimes this year, 2022. So yeah, they haven't announced the exact date, but they have a preview. Go look it up. It's going to be awesome. It's pretty sick. And the, ma- the manga is, it's, I'll tell you some reasons why I'd like, like, I can't put it down sometimes. Like I've read, I've been in bed, like needing to get some sleep, started a volume and couldn't go to sleep till I finished the volume. It was so good. Um, from the title. Yes. There is a character who is, uh, turns into a chainsaw man, mm-hmm. just straight up chainsaw man. He has chainsaws you see on his hands. So chainsaws just like huge ones on his hands, on his lower arms and his head turns into like a chainsaw base with like a handle on it. And it has a chainsaw coming out of his head, protruding from his, like his head. Um, and basically how it got like that. Ah. So I'll just read you the general synopsis as Cammy did. Uh, Dingy is a poor young man who will do anything for money, even hunting down devils with his pet devil dog, Pochita. He's so cute. Pochita is a cutie. The cutest. He'll, yeah, well, you'll see the pictures of him. Uh, he's a simple man with a simple dream, drowning under a mountain of debt. Uh, but his sad life gets turned upside down when he betrays, when he's betrayed by someone he trusts. Now with the power of a devil inside of him, Dingy becomes a whole new man, Chainsaw Man. And Dingy is so poor. I actually like reread the first part. The first like two pages are he has an eye patch on because he actually uh, he's so poor that he sold his eye for money. He sold a kidney for money. He sold quote unquote one of his nuts for some yen to pay off his debt. Got to do what you got to do. <laughs> he's so poor, and. Then he, uh, one day he meets this this little, like, it looks like a dog, and it has a little chainsaw coming out of his head, and it's a demon, and he thinks he's going to kill him, he's like, just kill me, man, like, he has to pay off his father's debt to these, like, you know, gangsters, and, um, Pochita's injured, so he tells him, like, hey, demons, they drink blood, and that's how they get better, so he does it, they become friends, and he's like, the only deal we have is, like, you know, you got to help me kill demons, and then we can, you can live, and I can live, he makes a contract with this little demon, um... And it gets to a point where they get betrayed, as said in the story, and they literally get chopped up into pieces. And then Pochita helps him. He tells him he likes hearing about Dingy's dreams. Dingy has simple dreams. He's, he survives off loaves of bread per day. He gets like one loaf of bread per day. He's like, yeah, I hear about this thing they call jam. <laughs> Aww. They put it on their bread. Like, oh, man, that's the high life, just having some jam on my bread. Yeah, that's a very simple dream. <laughs> it's so simple. And then he, like, it evolves to, like, hey, he wants, like, one day, he says, I want to hug a girl before I die. So he has these, like, adolescence thoughts. And it evolves into that where he meets people and he's just like, I never touched a girl's boobs before. So it has, like, this adolescence, like, I don't know, growing up as a boy kind of feeling, like, on that part, too. Because I don't think you guys are the part where he <laughs> he wants to touch some boobs and he gets to that part. Yeah, and he yeah, wants to get his first every, kiss. Every, every <laughs> straight man's dream. Yes, I'm dreaming about it. Uh, every day in the household. Uh, moving on. <laughs> but Dingy's best friend, Pet, as said, they get chopped up. 
And then they combine. It goes in his chest, and he has a little string he can pull. It goes, and he transforms into the chainsaw demon. So he's like a half demon, half human. And he Pretty has, cool stuff. Yeah, has a scene where he fights his first demon and all these zombies. And then after he kills everything, uh, I think Maki, this Makima, this character, is uh, she is kind of like the captain or leader of the, I think they're called the Public Safety Devil Hunters. Um so there's that typical like trope there and then he meets he has like senior classmates and they kind of wear like you know uh, little school suits? suits but they treat Denji she treats him like a human but she also tells like hey you're the devil public safety's dog if like we want you to go kill a demon you gotta go do it if you don't we'll put you down so he's kind of treated like that mm-hmm. but he's never been, been treated like a human whatsoever so he's like kind of in love with that he's like this is great yeah. This is the best time he, I've ever he had. He legit puts like everything on his toast and he gets like udon and then Makima kind of flirts with them. And then there's other strews of characters. There's like a, a fiend demon. She has like, I'll show you the first part, but pretty much she has devil ears. She has like spiky teeth. And I think she just ate, ate whatever she came across. And I think she came across a cat and the cat like disrespected her. So she liked the cat. <laughs> She's like, wow, someone yeah. who's just like me. <laughs> like me. And they kind of convert her. So the devil public safety people convert demons to, like, help them fight stuff. Mm-hmm. But they also have demons they trap where they make contracts with them. So one of them, like, kind of pulls, like, the, I don't know, the the motion like this. And a, a fox head comes out and, like, like eats the demon. Ah, yes. So there's a lot of different things. So many characters. And, of course, the artist just free goes free for all in the new demons he creates. Like, there's yeah. the gun demon that's, like, you know, the big one they're trying to all attack. It's... The art, whenever, like, he's turned into the demon guy, there's, like, the blood splatter on the paper. And it's, like, sometimes you're, like, man, it's hard to see in all this carnage. But the best part of it, in my opinion, is just it's the put-down quality. Like, I can't put it down. Like, there's these stories starts amping up. Like, you're, like, oh, everything's chill. And then, boom, 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 like, stuff happens. People die. And you're just, like, ah, oh, my heart. And you're also just, like, this is so good. This writing's awesome. Um, so, Chainsaw Man, dark, horror, comedy. Not for the faint of heart, I'll say. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. If you you don't like Quentin Tarantino, don't pick this up. (laughs) But it also, so it has a cool, scratchy, brutal art, like demon fights, of course, but also has a good story. And it also has like a thriller vibe to it. Sometimes you're like on the edge of your seat, like, oh, something's going down right now in this one issue. Yeah. Um, So I highly recommend Chainsaw Man. Um, Like I said, if you watch, watch on YouTube, you're listening, see some clips of it and Sakamoto Day's. But Chainsaw Man is very popular. If you haven't heard about it already, here you go. From Nerd Escape to you, Chainsaw Man is awesome. We we don't like to get on the hype train too fast. No, I like to... I mean, I think we're both the same way, like, waiting until the hype dies down. Because your expectations... Like, when you go in... Excuse me. When the hype is super high, your expectations are super high. And if it does not live to your expectations, then it's problematic. So I like to wait till it's all done. All the hype has died down. And now that people are on a different gravy train, I don't know what other gravy train they're on. Um, but <laughs> once they're on a different gravy train, I'm like, now's my time. I think everyone's there. Uh, I think I looked up. Just some details on the anime, and they were saying like, "Will Chainsaw Man, <clears throat> will Chainsaw Man be the next Demon Slayer?" Like, um, Demon Slayers kind of took over like the anime, yeah. like like public eye, where it's like Jujutsu Kaisen is like one of the most popular ones ever. Yeah, I think this one's up next. It I mean, may, but yeah. it, it's, it's a very genre for a certain corner of people. Though. Yeah, it's very specific, uh, which is crazy to me because there's it's so popular. It's there's certain. I don't know. I think I'm a little bit kind of a, I don't want to say skeptic, but because I don't think that's the word I'm looking for, but it's very interesting to see what people are actually interested in when it comes to manga, because there are some other really, really good mangas out there that don't get as much hype as these really like big ones. I think if you have a really good production company or you can like drill out mangas really quickly, then you get more traction. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's 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 really interesting to see. I've really kind of paid attention to like what gets gets the hype, what doesn't get the hype, and like what's unheard of, what you know, 
it's interesting to see how things play out. So well, I'm de- very demons curious. Demons are popular. Demons and curses. People apparently. love demons, which Demon is Slayer, very interesting. Demon Slayer, Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen is pretty much curses, but they're demons. Yeah. So pretty much. It's very interesting. I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how Chainsaw Man plays out once the anime comes out and how people feel about it. So I actually want to kind of do some research and see like who the production company is and see. It looks good from the previews I saw. I mean, yeah, the previews look good, but nowadays like taking animes and they just take them to the next level. Because she said, I was really, I was really reading a manga. We have so many. There's like the there's stack. There's so like many. ten stacks, and they're all number one issues. I'm like, these are all different, but cool. Yes, we got plenty of material to work with here. 100. But I was reading um, Full Metal Alchemist, and I've mm. talked about it before. And I've never sat down and watched the whole anime. Now the anime is not anywhere. So it's n- it. yeah. it's nowhere to be no found. No Netflix, no Hulu, no HBO, no. Not Crunchy. even on Funny Funimation or no. Crunchyroll. So we got to find that. But it's been so enjoyable to read because honestly, it's like blowing my mind. It's one of a kind. It's no school. There's the alchemist can literally like make like take the wall and then make like a spear out of it. Like I, it's and they have different alchemists. So that one's gonna be on here soon enough. But Chainsaw Man, it does have a certain fit for a genre. But you also never take in a person and turn their face into a chainsaw and yeah. kill demons with it. I think that's probably so, what the appeal is. It's it, like, oh, it's never been done before. It has, it has like the gutter punk like feel. Yeah, I, like like you know like like shoe juice. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just think of like greasy shoe juice manga. I don't know. What is suju? Shoe, shoe, like your tennis shoe juice. <laughs> Shoe juice. <laughs> shoe juice manga. I thought you were trying to say soju, which I was like, shoju is a completely different genre, genre than what you're talking if I had about. To make, though, my, like a magazine for this to be the shoe juice manga. Magazine. Shoe juice. <laughs> the, Are you the gonna trademark that? You might as well start saying TM if you're gonna make a TM, TM, shoe juice manga. I mean this is the style. It's just you'll see the clips, it's like literally he puts the blood splatter like like the panels like a camera screen and the blood's hitting it there it's good but it's good i Sakamoto need to days up. chainsaw man those are our recommendations for this mini manga mania monday mm-hmm. you ever say one two three say real fast one two three mini, mini manga, manga mania, mania monday mini manga mania mondays. Mini mondays. oh we're doing it multiple times all right one two three mini, mini manga, manga mania, mania mondays. Mondays. Mini mini mondays. Mondays. Nope. Ah, okay Mm-mm. we try we always try we'll get better and better but until next time it's a tongue twister <laughs> thank you so much for listening you're living on spotify or Apple, wherever you are, please anyway, leave a review, leave a like, share if you're really loving it. Yeah. YouTube, like and subscribe. Until then, this is Nerd Escape. The Comic Book Podcast. Where we talk about everything overrated and underlooked. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for listening. Until then, this is Nerd Escape. The Comic Book Podcast. Where we talk about everything underrated and overlooked. I'm your host, Cammy. I'm your host, Jablar. Um... He's got to figure this out. (laughs) I get excited and I say the catchphrase wrong, okay? Mm, My hair is... It's looking good. Does it? It looks great. Everyone tell Cammy your hair looks great, please. Yeah, I think it always looks great. Now he's messing it up. I can only touch your hair, not in public. (laughs) We've got to keep this touching at bay. (laughs) She's like, not even on camera, okay? Watch yourself, buddy. You're going to give people the wrong idea. Oh, all right. Well, thank you so much again. Um, we got through the whole Nerd Escape catchphrase. I'm not going back there again. So until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. Read some books. Read some mangas. Support your local comic book store. Yes. Peace. Bye.